Hey guys, what is up and welcome to the League of Myths episode featuring Tom Kench. If there's a myth you want me to cover that I do not in this episode, write it down below. And if you end up enjoying it, don't forget to hit the like button. But we've got a big episode ahead of us, so let's get right into the first myth. What is the interaction between Tom's W and Bard's journey? So there's several different test case scenarios we have to do for this myth, and the first one being if Tom Kench and Bard are on the same team, can he eat Bard and go through the journey? Well, as you can see, the answer is yes. But what if Tom Kench and Bard are not on the same team? Can he eat the enemy Bard and go through the portal? Well, as you can see, the answer is no, which to me came as a bit of a surprise. But we also learned that you cannot spit out a devoured ally while you are mid-journey. So here we wait for the devour timer to finish by itself, and you can see it kind of glitches for a split second, but it spits out the champion halfway through the journey. The next test case scenario is going to be if Tom Kench can devour a champion that is mid-journey, first testing it out with an allied champion, and you can see that he definitely can take them out of the journey. But does it act any differently if the champion you are trying to take out of the journey is an enemy champion? But as you can see, quite evidently, the answer is no, it does not act differently, and you can take out either or. Moving into the next myth, what happens if a champion with a death passive dies inside of Tom Kench? So the main question here is quite obvious, how does a passive that only activates upon death interact while they die within Tom Kench? But with the Karthus you see that his ghost from his passive instantly just comes right out of Tom Kench after he dies and he can continue doing his thing. Moving forward with Kogma this time, the same thing is gonna be happening to him, I put the ignite on him, finish him off with the ignite in my stomach, and as he dies his passive instantly comes right out of Tom Kench, more or less right on top of Tom Kench, and again he can act freely. And the final test case scenario, just for demonstrational purposes, is gonna be Zyra, and if you have not guessed already, it interacts the exact same way as all the other ones. Here's a pretty big myth that I'm sure a lot of you are curious to see and are probably gonna be asking. What is the interaction between Tom's W and the ultimate of Fiddlesticks, Skarner, Nunu, Scion, Wukong, and Swain? So let us start this mega myth, we'll call it, off with Skarner's ultimate. Is Tom Kench able to save an allied champion from the grasp of the scorpion? And the answer is most definitely yes. Which I do have to say is pretty cool. But what if while Skarner is ulting, the Tom Kench eats the Skarner instead? And you can see here the ultimate from Skarner is not stopped. And he will still latch on to whatever champion he used it on. This could be a very good way to stop the enemy Skarner from taking your ally to where you don't want him to go. Following that, let's test the interaction with Fiddlesticks ultimate, first trying it out with an allied Fiddlesticks. And as Fiddlesticks finally uses his ultimate, Tom Kench eats him up and you can see that the crows are flying all around Tom Kench, almost like a 2 in 1 scenario. But does this work any differently with an enemy Fiddlesticks? Again, as he begins channeling his ultimate, I can also eat the Fiddlesticks here too, but this time his ultimate is hitting me the whole time. So if you decide to be a martyr and sacrifice yourself for the greater good of your team, this is a pretty cool thing to do. Moving forward, the next one in line is gonna be Nunu. Starting it off once again with an allied Nunu, I can actually not cancel his ultimate's channel no matter what I do. I guess they implemented this feature to prevent the Tom Kenches from trolling their Nunus. But what about if the Nunu that is channeling his ultimate is an enemy Nunu? Well in that case, Tom Kench can most definitely cancel his ultimate and eat him up, potentially even saving your team from a bad explosion. But let us test this with something that is supposed to be somewhat unstoppable, Scion's ultimate. If an allied Scion is using his ultimate right through Tom Kench, Tom Kench cannot eat him and cancel his ultimate no matter what happens. Unless of course he cancels his ultimate. But testing this with an enemy Scion as he uses his ultimate, the same thing applies, I cannot eat him and you can see the text that says cannot be disabled. The next one waiting in line is gonna be Wukong. And as he begins channeling his ultimate and spinning around, Tom Kench is able to eat him, and much like Fiddlesticks, he's able to spin around inside Tom Kench's belly. And this could also be a cool little two-in-one trick. But of course, we have to test this with an enemy Wukong, and the same thing applies as it did with Fiddlesticks, I'm able to eat him while he's spinning, but I am forced to take damage every single second while his ultimate is still active. And the final one we're testing for this myth is gonna be Swain in his ultimate form, and as he turns into the bird, the crows are still flying out of him, dealing damage and of course probably giving Swain HP while he's inside Tom Kench's belly. And if you haven't guessed already, the opposite does apply. If Tom Kench and Swain are not on the same team, you can still eat him, and the crows will still fly out, hitting Tom Kench himself and any enemy champion. Finally, moving on to the next myth, what happens if Tom Kench eats fiddlesticks while he's draining, or singed while his Q is on? So in the first example, we're going to be trying to eat a Fiddlesticks that is on the same team while he's draining, but the game is unable to let us do so, just in case someone decides to troll the Fiddlesticks. 
So if they're on the same team, he cannot eat him while he's draining. Though I'll be honest, I actually thought he would be able to, and then Fiddlesticks will just continue draining his target just inside Tom Kench's stomach. But what if the Fiddlesticks that is using drain is on the enemy team? And testing it out here, you are able to cancel the drain. The drain does not continue while you're in the stomach, and all you see are some big green hands coming out of Tom Kench. But what happens if Singe turns on his Q and then Tom Kench eats him? Well the cloud of poison from Singe will also be following and it seems like Tom Kench is the one letting out the steam. And just like every other example, we have to test this on the opposite teams as well. And Tom Kench can definitely eat the enemy Singe while his Q is on, but of course he will take damage from the Q while he's inside him. The next myth is asking, can Kalista ult someone out of Tom Kench's W ability? So arguably Tom Kench's W ability Devour and Kalista's ultimate are somewhat similar in terms of how they interact with the champion. But can Kalista's ultimate save someone that is being trapped by Tom Kench's Devour? And as I finally eat the enemy Vel'Koz, Kalista is able to use her ultimate instantly, taken right out of my stomach. But the biggest thing to note and the most interesting thing is that the Vel'Koz did not take any damage. What happens if Yuzanius as a champion is about to come out of Tom's W? So in these examples, we will be substituting the item Zhonya's for Bar's ultimate, but they act pretty much the exact same way. So as Tom Kench eats his allied Fizz, as the Devour is about to finish, Bard uses his ultimate, the Fizz of course is not affected by it, but he still automatically comes out of Tom Kench's Devour, even though Tom Kench is in a stasis. And testing this again, using an enemy champion as an example, just in case there's a different interaction, the Vayne, even though she does take the damage, still comes out of Tom Kench while he's still in the stasis. And the final myth submitted by Cowbell himself, can you have a massive all-in-one with Tom, Callista, and many other champions? So to answer this myth, Cowbell has very graciously let me use this clip where he did test this exact scenario. And you see in this video as a huge all-in-one happens, it is definitely possible. And you can also click here on the video if you want to check out Cowbell's video itself on his channel. But huge shoutouts to my boy. But speaking of shoutouts guys, I want to give a quick shoutout to one of my sponsors, Alpha Draft, where you can go on their site, draft your fantasy LCS team, win prizes, enter for free, and it's really a whole lot of fun. Truly making the LCS experience much more exciting. I'll leave a link to the website down below, highly recommend checking it out. But thank you all so much for watching, if you did enjoy, please definitely throw in a like, share it with your friends, check out the other episodes of this series and my other videos, and submit more Tom Kench myths down below to have a chance to be featured in part 2 of the Tom Kench League of Myths series. But I thank you all for watching, and hope to see you for the next one. Peace!